You saw those holdable items I mentioned before, stuff like the balloons. If you trip and fall while holding a balloon, which is much rarer than if you're wearing King Tut's mask. No! It's like Pennywise is sitting with the moon shoulder and he grabs it from you and you never get to see it again. That's kind of a horrible image and I want to erase it from my brain, so rewind. 2020 is cruising, and we're already at a brand new month as the summer sizzles on. The flowers are in full bloom, and it's time for our Zach, Zach, the Almanac August update, where we go through all the events, all the new items, all the new DIY, the fish, the bugs, now the deep sea creatures. Did you know those were getting updates as well for the northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere, and the moon children? Well, I don't have any real updates for the... Those of you who are moonshot, but I'm, I'm working on it, and this video is jam-packed. So make sure to smash that like button if you're excited for another month of ACNH with me. Let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to do the most this month. It's been an awesome start. Thanks so much for subscribing. Happy to have you guys here. If you're a member, special shout out. I love y'all so stinking much. Now, as far as I know, there aren't any brand new NPCs in August because our new NPC actually arrived in July. Luna the Tapir descended on July 30th with Summer Wave 2. And I don't know if we're going to get any NPCs this month. I've actually had some people ask me about Wendell the Walrus showing up perhaps at a later date as an addition to Dream Suites now that we have that entire system in the game. But as far as data miners tell us, Wendell's code is not in the game. So unfortunately, the Walrus ain't coming back, at least not anytime soon. But you could consider Festival Red as a new NPC. It's Red donning a different outfit and introducing a whole new scheme, this one yielding a bunch of sweet items. So let's go there first. Red's Raffle. Now, Red's Raffle is going to provide quite a few new items, and there's not a whole lot of complication to how you acquire them. Every Sunday, Red will show up in the plaza. I mean, the dude has been absent from our islands so much of the summer. It's about time he does something the right way. And if you buy into his raffle, it is going to cost you a couple of bells, and you have access to a Red Sparkler, a Blue Sparkler, a Fountain Firework, a Bubble Blower, which only gives you five bubbles. So be careful. I wasted my bubbles so quick, and then I was like, oh my gosh, my blower just vanished. This isn't a game of refills. There ain't no refills. This is like, hey, once you use it, oh, it's gone into the ether. The moon children abduct it and take it for themselves. All oh, hey, I don't know what's going on with me and my lunar obsession right now, but holy freaking cow. Let's continue. Uchiwa fan, pinwheel. Tweeter. No, it's Twitter. Tweeter. Blue Balloon, Red Balloon, Yellow Balloon, Green Balloon, and the Pink Balloon. There are 12 new items available via Red's Raffle, and these are special because they are holdable items. Now KK's over here singing sad songs about forgotten villagers from the month past. But I'm a man of the people. So when y'all told me I needed cuter and rarer villagers, we went out and we hunted Cranston, Sherb, Tia, and Dizzy. And I love the upgrades we made to our Critter Ensemble. And I think I want to upgrade my Switch for August as well. Thankfully, Dbrand has dropped the most perfect, the most pure, the most pastel set of eight Switch skins I've ever seen, and I love them. You'll know how much I love when Nintendo added pastel Joy-Cons to that AC Switch. Dbrand went and said, uh-uh, we're opening up the entire rainbow, and we are dropping Seafoam Green, Kind of Purple, Sunrise Orange, and so many more onto your Switches. It's like they took the world from black and white and put it in screaming color. And now you can have a more glorious Switch with Joy-Con skins, Dock skins, and Switch skins all for one low price. You have to see them. Click the link in the description down below to beautify your Switch. Some of us will never have five star islands. I don't think it's possible for me but you can at least have a five-star Switch with these high-quality, beautifully colored, long-lasting, amazing D-Brand skins. They sponsored the video, but you know me. I would only support something if it is of the utmost quality, and these skins do the trick. So do yourself a favor and make the upgrade this month. You can carry them, but carrying in this game has brought something new for the month of August, and that is going to be Luck. Now, if you haven't heard, Luck is a new system, uh, really an old system because it's been in past Animal Crossings, that impacts your ability to create friendship with your villagers, how fast the bees chase you, how much money you get out of different resources, 
and more. Now, this DIY is added as soon as you find a gold nugget here in August. Find a gold nugget, and you'll get access to King Tut's Mask. It's the first cursed item in the game. And I think this is eventually going to lead us to Katrina in September or October, the cat who likes to call our fortunes. But right now, the bad luck of King Tut's Mask is that it will make you trip and fall. Now, you saw those holdable items I mentioned before, stuff like the balloons. If you trip and fall while holding a balloon, which is much rarer than if you're wearing King Tut's Mask, Dizzy over here like, August, the heat, man. I need some mud. Unfortunately, there's no mud DIY, Dizzy. You're going to have to rely on sand to cover your hot spots. But you won't fall as often. But if you fall with a balloon, no. It's like Pennywise is sitting with the moon children and he grabs it from you and you never get to see it again. That's kind of a horrible image and I want to erase it from my brain. So rewind. Now you're probably aware fireworks are happening, but it's only for August. So it's important to point out the specifics. It's every Sunday in August from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. And then they're gone. This isn't something that randomly happens like a meteor shower or something that will continue throughout the year. It's August and then bust. So luckily we have five Sundays in August, the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. We have five opportunities to see Isabel with her little bopper and to see her legs. Because guys, she's out of resident services for the fireworks show. Now you will receive a bopper from Isabel every single time. So make sure to talk to her each show so that you can collect the star bopper, the heart bopper the flower bopper, and the bulb bopper. My personal favorite is the heart bopper because I'm a dude all about love and kindness, but I like all four. You got five weekends, so as long as you get four of the weekends, you will be able to collect all four and add to red set of 12 raffle items for 16 new items. Plus, you can get sparklers from residents, which will be 17 items, and you can get a free fireworks show wallpaper, which is 18 items, and the Able Sisters, did you know this? They have special firework clothes. So they have kimonos and yukatas are on sale at the Able Sisters during Sundays. Not just during the fireworks show, but during Sundays you can grab these, which should add even more items to our list for August. Now that is not all that we have in this glorious month. There is more in store because we do have a bug off. Anybody bored of the bug offs yet? The bug off this time is towards the end of the month, August 29th, the fourth Saturday in August. August, and this is for the Northern Hemisphere only. And Flick is looking really excited about the bug off, as you can see from the photo. From 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can collect bugs, which I think is still a fun activity, but the prizes are the same, and they really need to be on rotation, don't they? They really need to rotate these things the heck out of there, so we're ready for new stuff, and so we get invigorated about the bug offs. But once the bug offs are gone, you gotta wait till the next year, so we're gonna be done with them soon. If you wanna get in on one more, August 29th is your day. Now, one of the festivals that might be happening this month is the Obon Festival, a Japanese holiday honoring departed relatives taking place on August the 15th. Now, it has existed in past games, although it hasn't been announced for New Horizons, and it typically involves horse and cow type items. Now, I thought when I saw that the rodeo style springy ride on was gonna be added to the game, it ensured we were gonna get the Obon Festival. But it turns out that that horse ride-on is actually for a Brazilian festival. And I gotta give props to Crafty Duchess over on Instagram for putting these lovely graphics together. But here you can see that the Chinese festival, the Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day, is coming this month. And you're gonna get the Hikoboshi outfit and the Orihimi outfit. The Rodeo Style Springy Ride-On will also exist in August thanks to Cowboy Festival, a Brazilian holiday that features bulls and horses, lots of wild games with a country twist. Don't think we're gonna get the mini games in ACNH, but it's cool that they have an item honoring a festival from around the world. Now you'll see that the items I showed in a previous video, including the Grape Basket and the Moon Rug, are coming for Grape Harvest Festival in September and Moon Viewing Day in September. So we're gonna have to pause and wait on those for now. They will not be August items. But if you include the two outfits pictured here, as well as the rodeo style springy ride on, that's three items to be added to this beautiful list of all the festival items and Isabel's boppers for over 20 new items this month, plus the King Tut hat mask, which you can craft. It is a lot of new stuff to collect and I challenge you to get it all as fast as possible. Who's gonna be first to have everything? I bet one of you already does. Who is it? Raise your hand in the comments. We've made it to my favorite part of the show, the new bugs, fish, and deep sea creatures. Which, you know what, I'm just going to show you deep sea creatures right freaking now. I didn't know they were even going to do this with deep sea creatures. I thought that list was set, but Pascal said, nom, 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 nom. I want more of those clams, and I need you to dive in the seas. Because I think for everyone, diving got a little old quickly. But this should add a little bit of oomph. We're getting a flatworm. And I've tried to find a flatworm, but I've swam laps around my island, and I can't spot one. It is a slow, short movement 
type of sea creature. It's a tiny shadow. It sells for 700 bells and it's available 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. We are losing the vampire squid and the sea pineapple in terms of deep sea creatures in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, nothing is new, but you guys are losing Venus flower basket, sweet shrimp, and the sea pig. Now, I want to point out that because Nintendo dropped Wave 2 early, and because those, those, those new updates were announced a while ago, there is a slight chance we get a new trailer in August teasing stuff for September. But right now, all of our eyes are on the fall update, so let's focus on the rest of the fish and bug guides. Now, on the buggy side of thing, new for Northern Hemisphere is the Migratory Locust, the Rice Grasshopper, and the Walker Cicada. Now, none of these guys actually have a huge amount of value. The most expensive is the Migratory Locust at 600 bells, and it can be found 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. I actually collected one of these guys for you, and we'll show it off. Ta-da! It's like a little guy, he's on the ground, he hops to and fro, he's pretty fun, kind of looks like a grasshopper, actually a bigger grasshopper, but he's a locust, which is worse, and I think kind of a plague. So be careful, you don't want too many of these on your island. Now anyways, back to the list, we are losing a whole lot of butterflies, cicadas, and beetles, so be prepared, you're gonna want to get all of these guys before the end of the month if you want to complete your Critterpedia and have a full book of bootacular spook creatures for blathers. Now down to the southern hemisphere, you guys are getting the tiger beetle and losing my favorite big bird wing bug. You're also losing the damselfly and the dung beetle. Now on the fish side of things, something spectacular has been added this month for us in the northern hemisphere. It is another turtle, except this one with less of a bite and more of an ushy gussy soft shell in the soft shell turtle. Who I think is so cute. He's big and I kind of feel bad that I'm holding like him like this. I think this isn't a very safe grip. I think... Like, I mean, it's fun for me, but his little web feet are like, gosh, I need water. Please put me down. One day I want to grow super old and live on Galapagos. And I can't do that if you're holding me with one hand in this scissor grip that I do not appreciate. But we all do appreciate new fish, and there are quite a few for the month. We have the soft-shelled turtle, the moray eel, and the ray. We're losing the killflish, the frog, which I also love. So thank goodness for the soft-shelled turtle, because honestly, the soft-shelled turtle is like a big frog. Similar color. Similar squishy ishy. I love them both. Also losing the snakehead, the Napoleon fish, and the squid. Now I was looking hard for the ray, but it was hard to find that ray. So I ended up finding a Napoleon fish, which is like a massive creature. And I didn't show this in July, so I want to show it now. That thing is ugly. That's a big face. It's also a very big fish. Let's see what we're losing and gaining in the southern hemisphere. We have a few new... No, we don't. The southern hemisphere seems to be ahead of the game. Like, they got sharks first, and so new stuff just doesn't happen as frequently. Nothing new. You're losing the pond smelt and the blowfish. Not a big month for the southern hemisphere in terms of creature collection. But on the northern side, we do have quite a bit to grab and a quite a bit to get. And so I'm excited to see if you guys can put together an epic collection. And then who knows what September will hold. As you know, I'll be back with Zach Zach, the almanac, ready to tell you the bugs, the fish, the events, the items, the DIY, and more. So, it's going to be a good month. I'm excited to share it all with you. I hope you guys will join me on the streams. Members, thanks again for being so amazing. Subscribers, I love you so much too. Check out our new merch. It's available on the Switch 4 store. Five shirts, a face mask, two stickers, and more. Give it a look if you're interested. Thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys so much. I love doing these videos. I cannot wait till September, but for now, we got 30 days of epic Animal Crossing goodness. I'll see you on the next video. But that'll do it until then, so thanks so much, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure to check the link in the description down below to see those epic pastel skins from D Brand to make your Switch so much better this month. The game got so much better, your Switch deserves it as well. So check the link in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button if you're excited for another epic 30 days of AC with me. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. And until next time, Switch Force out.